Hello YouTube, this is Insane Monster with part one of What If Asta Was a Shaman. If you haven't watched part zero, I do recommend you do so, so that you understand how things have led up to the point that they are now. Now then, with that being said, I do hope you're enjoying the Easter special and all of my other vids. And with that being said, before the What If starts, hit it. Now then, you know when Asta are informed that it's time for them to go get their grimoires. As they are excited, they do go over. As there was some anticipation, and the old man who presided over the ceremony of handing out the grimoires gave his speech. With that, all the grimoires were handed out to everybody from the ceremony, with Yuno being given a very particular grimoire, one with a four-leaf clover, though Asta didn't get anything. As he left before anyone noticed, he sighed with Inminamaru trying to comfort him, stating, it's fine. It isn't that uncommon for individuals not to have much magic to begin with in this country. So, although you have no magic, you do have the power of a shaman, which, in my opinion, can cause quite a bit of discipline. As he sticks around the Rimmore Tower, practicing, pulling out the katana medium on his hip, and the stone the redstone dagger from behind him in a little scabbard. As he asks Aminamaru to help train him. Uh, as he creates the sword in its oversoul form, which visually has red armor-like uh, structure for the hilt and handle and such with a blue energy blade. He practices his swordsmanship pretty often, with Aminamaru giving him guidance. Afterwards, something happened. The energy that flowed from Asta for his shaman power somewhat felt oddly familiar to someone else. The someone was trapped in a certain book. As the grimoire flew out from the walls, it went directly towards Asta. Surprised by this, he grabs it and remarks, is, is this my grimoire? As he runs over to Yuno to tell him, Yuno, however, was dealing with the nobles that wanted to burn his grimoire because he had a four-leaf clover grimoire despite being a commoner. After blasting them away, he ended up getting bound by some chains. After that, you know, ended up with his grimoire taken by the chain mate, who remarked that he was going to sell it on the black market as a art piece. As you know, was getting his spiritual power, which I'm calling it spiritual power here, because the name in it from the uh, from the manga and such. I'm not sure if I can pronounce it correctly from how it's spelled or something, I, you know. But either way, before that, Asta yells at the chainmates to let Yuno's grimoire go. As Yuno sees this, he notices Asta has a grimoire book as well, wondering where he got it. He didn't really get one during the ceremony, which was odd. As Asta opened up the grimoire, and pulled out the Demon Slayer sword. Aminamaru went over to Yuno and telling him to relax, that Asa should have this. 
being curious about what Asta can use since he doesn't have magic. As the chain mage is getting annoyed by this, he fires off a number of chains at Asta as Asta just destroys him with a single slash. Minamaru thought that I get it. He can't use magic. But instead, he seems to be given something allowing him to destroy magic itself. Anti-magic. As Asta breaks chain after chain, getting used to this large sword, he smirks, remarking, this is great. Though, a chain bursts from underneath his feet, wrapping around his leg, sending him into the wall. The chain main remarking, the hell is this? I didn't send any magic from you. These chains measure how much magic someone has, and you don't even have a drop. What the hell's going on? As Aminamaru was about to go in, Asta held out his hand to remark for him to stop. After opening the grimoire and using it, he sensed something from it. Something with a soul. He placed his hands on his grimoire. He ripped out a soul from it. That took the form of a dark ball with red energy around it. The orge, what, what happened? This is something that I, if you remember correctly, the devils can actually separate their bodies from their soul. Similar to the word magic devil, as well as the other devils from the dark triad. Their souls are inside or outside of their bodies, while their bodies are in the underworld. Even though Vive doesn't have any magic, I'm... Thinking that this might be some kind of trait that just goes along with being a devil. So, yeah. With that, Asta asks him if he could help him. As he smirks, Vipe recognizes that Asta looks rather familiar in his appearance. And seeing the situation around him, he smirks, stating, Fine, go ahead. As the chain mage is freaking out about the talking little ball, and Asta taking the orb, slamming it into the demon slayer sword, using the oversoul and compressing the energy, something happened. The demon slayer's sword still held a familiar form, but the blade of the sword glowed red with a black aura around it. Basically, somewhat reverse to the Lee Bay's picture in the thumbnail. But more than that, armor plating began to cover Asta's entire arms, including giving him some armored shoulder pads, which were, are black with red markings. Asta smirks and states, Yeah, this is more my speed. He bolts towards the chain mage and blasts him right in the chest with a flat of it, sending him into the wall. Before the chain mage loses consciousness and Asta loses focus away from him going to Yuna, the chain mage fires a single chain at Asta's head. Only Asta blocks it with his hand this time with the oversoul armor over it which destroys the chain as well. After that, Yuno and Asta have their little moment. And this bump promising that one of them will become the Wizard King. After that, they begin their training. But before they separate for their individual training, Aminamaru wanted to talk to Yuno. As Yuno know, asked, is there something you need, Minamaru? Minamaru stated, Yes, it's about you in particular. From what I can tell, your wind magic is incredibly strong. Not only that, you were given a grimoire with a legendary four leaf clover on it. And before you even became a shaman, you were 
Well, you gain a fondness from the from wind. Looking at the little orb, the little spirit orb of the wind spirit, Miramaru continued. What I can tell, or the best way to explain it, you are an individual that doesn't just have strong wind abilities or has an affinity for it. Almost like you are beloved by the wind itself. It's the most accurate way I could think of describing it anyways. As you know, smirks. Happy to hear something like that. He thanks of me tomorrow and wonders why is he talking to him about this. Aminamaru stated, I'm unaware about what your growth will be from this point. Combining your power with the as a shaman with your now fully realized power as a mage, now that you have your grown heart, I am not sure about where your strength will go, nor am I that aware about what Asta has. Power of anti-magic? Destroying magic is something that could drastically make waves in this world. One where magic is everything. As Juno understands that, asking me tomorrow to watch out for Asta. He smirks, stating, of course. Afterwards, Amin Amaru meets with Asta as they go training. During their training, the soul from the Grimoire decides to introduce himself as Libe, as Asta introduces himself as well, explaining what he exactly did. The shocking Libe, as he smirks, stating, Interesting. So what can you do with this uh, shaman ability, since it doesn't require mana? As Asta thinks for a moment, he states, well, um, there's the oversoul like we did before. There's also a possession kind of thing where you take over my body and work uh, your skills through me. If I do it with Aminamaru, I can use his talent with his uh, swordsmanship. So there's also the soul fusion. It's like an oversoul uh, possession crossover where traits that you have would be uh, put on me. But I've never been quite that good at it. As Aminamaru states, yes, the backlash from it from you messing up the flow of power tends to tear up your muscles. As Asta laughs nervously, with that, the training begins, as due to Libe being able to interact, he's able to guide them into putting the katana and the stone redstone dagger into the grimoire. After pulling it out, they're somewhat chains, giving a similar dark pattern to the um, human slayer sword. As he used the oversoul on it, it created the same... Uh, energy katana as before, but with red instead of blue. With this, he begins to practice. As things continue similar to in canon with the sword mage, well, the wind sword mage from the Diamond Kingdom that he helped out, the training for the six months continue and it is now time for them to leave. As they depart, Asta and Yuno begin their own training. As Asta shows off his new red katana oversoul, he practices with Yuno. As Yuno fires off a spiritual magical energy wind attack, Asta just destroys it. So, thinking about it, Yuno wonders if that sword can only destroy magic now. As he remarks to Asta that he was only going to use his spiritual power to win for this one. As he charges up a compressed wind attack, he fires it, causing Asta to use his sword to slash it again, worried, but 
with the outcome that the magic was, well, the technique was destroyed. Since it wasn't wind controlled from magic, but spirit energy from a shaman using wind, it was quite shocking. Afterwards, they found out that in addition to destroying magic, on using the swords in Oversoul that have been infused with anti-magic, it turns out that they could actually be used to nullify shaman techniques as well as magic spells. Because Hosta is excited about this, you know smart. As they get to the area where they are now having to do the magic night exam. Upon entering, Asta is sworn by anti-magic birds, including one perching on his head. And Yuno is just having people look at him as he has the four-leaf clover grimoire and no anti-magic birds around him. As Asta was about to bump into Yami, Minamaru stops him and he stops before running into him. Causing Yami to look back, he notices that this kid has an odd key to him. It's powerful and oddly, it has a strange feel to it. As he asks, is, what is he looking at? So when he goes to grab his head, Asla dodges it, and Yami is called out by Finru, who asks him to stop messing with the examinees and that they have to hurry. With that, Yami goes off in order to go to where all the captains will be seated for the exam. Once the exam starts, everyone is handed out brooms. Yuno decides to go along with it and uses his broom for flying instead of what, instead of the, you know, the soul fusion technique with his snow owl spirit. As for Asta, since he can't use the broom, he uses the oversoul with earth with his headband to create the construct around him. They didn't see him use his grimoire because he wasn't and they couldn't call him out on it. So he began to float up into the air using earth's ability to control gravity. As he floats up, meeting with Yuno, Yuno states, so off, with Asta just smirking. With that, that portion was done. Afterwards, it came the construct portion. Now, Asta saw some leaves on the ground and used the shaman technique in order to make those little foxfire doll things using the souls of the dead leaves. And yes, that is actually something he can do and is in the manga of Shaman King. So he uses it, holds them together to make a little doll thing. Afterwards, we get to the marksmanship test, where Asta uses the same little foxfire things to blast some of the targets. But some of the captains curious about what he's doing, since he isn't using his grimoire or anything that they can sense as magic. As Yami can tell that there's he flowing into every attack he's using. How odd it is. With that, they continue on with their uh, the exam, which has now gone to the combat portion. Seke ends up with Asta like in canon. As for you know, he does end up with the same person. Though beats him right off the bat even faster than in canon. Not seeing a need to go full force, you adding his shaman power into it. As for Asta, he decides to pull out the katana and stone dagger and use Aminamaru's oversoul to give him his red energy sword. As Yami senses the key fluctuation in this and how much it's increased, he 
I doesn't understand why, but there's an insane amount of key just packed into that sword. As Sekai creates his Sekai cannon, Asta blitzes straight in, slicing the top off, jumping in, and punching him out. Since this sword has more of a sharper edge than the Demon and Slayer sword, he didn't want to cut Sekai up. So he just literally cut open and he basically opened up Sekai's um, magic cannonball like a tin can. With that, Asta wins. Upon the selection, Yuno know, goes with the Golden Dawn, and Asta, who steps up, has hands raised for the Green Praying Mantises, Aqua Deers, and Black Bulls. Not knowing much about uh, the squads, Aminamaru steps in, remarking that that Yami person has a similar sword to where his homeland is. Not only that, his appearance is similar to his countrymen as well. After hearing that, he smirks and decides to go along with the Black Bulls. Of course, this sucked some people, but Yami wasn't going to complain. Afterwards, they do have where Asta and Yuno say their goodbyes and wish each other good luck. As Asta goes to the Black Bulls hideout and Yuno heads to the Golden Dawn. With that, Asta asks Yami if he could talk to him for a moment. As he asked what you need. He asks about the sword on Yami's hip as he draws it showing off that well, kid, this sword is called a, as he's interrupted by Asta saying, a katana. Surprising Yami, he asked, how do you know that? He's with Asta stating, oh, I have a bit of a swordsman teacher, but, and he uses two, he's used to using two of those. After hearing that, he is interested and asked who his master is. He states the name Amida Maru, shocking Yami, since he heard the story about him and thought he was dead. Though it could be someone else from his country with the same name. But without knowing that, he didn't pay it much mind. But he had to ask, what exactly have you used in the exam? From what I understand, it's anti-magic. But... You also used something that wasn't anti-magic and wasn't magic either. As Li Bei in his spirit ball form states, uh, what should we do? Minamaru states, hmm, this one is one of my countrymen. And I believe I can trust him. But Li Bei stating, and why is that? But as... We just see Amir Maru smirk, stating, it's pretty simple. I have a certain instinct when it comes to people, even what if I'm dead. And I don't think he's a bad individual. As Asta looks at him, he seems to have some guardian spirits as well. Remarking, you know, Yami, it seems as though you would like wolves. As Yami states, huh? Well, they are a pretty cool animal. So, yeah. As Asta looks, seeing four spirits of wolves around him. Normally, people have some form of spirit watching over them. Sometimes they don't, and sometimes they acquire them later. Even if they're not shamans, you can think of these as guardian spirits, which are either people who have died and have become interested in the person, or a family member who has died and watches over them as a ghost. And lastly, in Yami's case, animal spirits that have taken liking. As Amina Maru asked, Asta, this individual, he does seem powerful, and he is one of my countrymen. Would it be too much to ask for you to allow me to speak? As he understood what he meant, 
and at, he asked why, causing Yami to be confused about who he's talking to. I mean, the Maru at stated, well, you remember what I told you about the group of people that I came here with and what happened to their descendants? I am worried about what happened if you as and you know went at them alone. Having allies would be good, especially ones who could fight on equal footing. As Rain during all this, who went along with Asta as he's supposed to be protecting Rain, which is the spirit of Rain, if you remember correctly, decided to go fly off, sensing somebody that seems to be of close nature of water. Afterwards, Asta Stick told Yami that he was going to do something so that he could understand. As Yami stated, fine, go ahead. Asta put out his hand using a Minamaru spirit ball form and placing it in his chest. As Yami reacts to having a Minamaru spirit ball put inside of him for a possession, he then opened his eyes, seeing two other orbs. One orange-like orb, which would be Earth, and a darker orb with a red aura, which is Libe. After leaving his body, Minamaru shows up, introducing himself. As Yami states, no way. Does that mean it's that Aminamaru? After some confusion, Aminamaru explained something. That for one, Asta is a shaman, and by doing this, gave Yami shaman potential as well, giving some somewhat details about it, and that there are five primal spirits, with two of them that were taken. Part of Asta's goal is to not only aim to become the Wizard King, but in order to find and take back the two primal spirits that were stolen. As Yami smokes a cigarette and remarks, Okay, I get what you're saying. And since he doesn't have any magic and these people are unknowns, having people to help would be pretty good. As Aminamaru states, as well as those that understand shamanism and are able to see the spirits themselves, that could be helpful. As he points towards Yami, and he notices that there are some ghost wolves around him. Being surprised by this, he's told about how they are basically the spirits that are guarding him. Yami recognizes them what he's stating as them being guardian spirits for him. As he smirks, stating, well, it looks like I got a really interesting one this time. Afterwards, they go meet up with Finral and Gordon, who, well, we have Finral asking what took them so long, but Yami telling him to shut up. As the doors open, they just see a bunch of crazy people. As Asta runs out of the way from Magna and looks fighting with a rogue fireball flying at him. Afterwards, Yami bursts down one of the walls, yelling that they should shut up and that stop the wrecking the place. With that, everyone's quiet after saying hello to Yami. And introductions are met, where Asta meets everybody. Seeing that some of them have some animal spirits with them, others have some human ones with them, and etc. Afterwards, Magna stands up, remarking that he has to earn his right to be a black bull. Confused by this, since he just took the Magic Knight exam, Magna states that he has to go through his baptism. As he yells that he'll do it, no problem and goes ahead and does it, basically crushing the physical portion with ease. As now it's time for the combat portion, Asa pulls out the Demon Slayer sword and begins their fight.
As Magna rapid fires towards Asta, he begins to weave and dodge, going in between the gaps of his attack. As Magna then charges up a strong fireball and tosses it right at Asta. Asta decided not to use his oversoul because he wanted to test his spirit his strength with just the anti-magic sword. But Libe yelled at him, stating, Use the flat of the blade, you idiot! As he does so, slamming it with the flat of the blade, sending the fireball back. With Asta remarking, I didn't know it could do that. Libe stated, Of course it can. Uh, with Asta saying, Then why didn't you tell me? He stated, there wasn't really much of a need to since you were pra practicing stuff that had nothing to do with it. Plus, the people you went up against, the, that weird Seke person, whatever, just, he was so weak that you didn't even need to. With that, Magna is shown to be all right, as he runs towards Asta, remarking that he almost got killed by his own spell, and then looks at Asa with a smirk, stating that he's amazing. As he is acknowledged by the other Black Bulls, Magda remarks, that's pretty incredible, kid. As Asa remarks that, thanks. I was worried about getting into the Magic Knight since I have no magi magic whatsoever. Shocking Magna as he smirks, stating, that just... That just makes you even more incredible, in my opinion. That's awesome. As this goes on and Asta gets his Black Bull's robe, we see up on the higher part of the Black Bull's hideout a girl with silver hair. And without her knowing, there is now a small blue orb, which is rain, hovering around her. And behind her is an older woman that looks similar to her with silver hair, the exact same silver hair, but put into a ponytail instead of the pigtail she has. As Asta is sent to over and led to his new room, he smirks, being excited to have his own room now, though not quite since his uh, spirits have to share it. So, as they get settled in, we see the bird that was perching on his head from the exam just sleeping on the window seal. Once morning came, Asta woke up and getting ready as he opened the door, hitting his face on a pillar right in front of him. With Magna showing up, he asked about the pillar, and Magna told him that, oh yeah, the hideout tends to sift around in its layout, so it gets kind of confusing sometimes. As he finds that pretty impressive, with Amina Maru stating, Huh, honestly, that sounds like a pretty decent security measure. This place may look run down, but it seems to be quite efficient as a base. At, as Magnus shows also around for everything, including Yami's beast, magical beast cage and such. They keep running until they run into Noel. As Asta looked and saw that rain was floating around her, as well as a older looking woman with the same hair color was right behind the girl. As he introduces himself, she smacks away his hand, remarking that she won't talk to a commoner, causing the woman behind her to somewhat sigh. As things go as in canon, and she fires off her magic, which ends up hitting Magna instead of Asta, as she walks off, tossing away her black bull robe, saying that she quits. As Asta's doing the chores, he does get them done the same as a cannon and goes walking. As he's then met 
by the same ghost woman that was with the girl earlier, as she noticed that this boy can see her. He goes up to him and asks, excuse me, but you can see me, correct? As he states, yeah, yeah, I can. As the woman is smiling, as he's happy that someone could finally see her, and asks, please help her. As she flies away, as he's thinking that it's probably has something to do with this Noel girl that he's being asked to help, he goes over looking for her, finding that she's training like in canon. As he steps on a stick, this leads to her noticing that Asta saw her unable to control her magic and begins to fire the, her water. But as it was charging, it began, well, it just went out of control, making the same crazy rampaging uh, spear of water. As Asta gets out of there, and meets up with the other black bulls that are discussing about what to do about this. As Asta ran into them, Yami asked Asta if he can do something about this. Asta smirks and thinks, yeah, that's to do it. As he tells Yami he can do it just fine, using the oversoul with Earth and enabling him to fly with the gravitational control and pulling out the Demon Slayer sword. He flies over to Noel as he slices the sphere of water clean in half, destroying it, and then uses a gravitational control to hold her up so that he could dr gently drop her down. As Noel was being prepared to be berated with insults and such, Austin remarked about how incredible her power was, and if she could control it, that she'd practically be unstoppable. The other black bulls encouraging her, as well as stating that she's accepted here. She tries to hold back the tears from being happy from hearing this, as he's given her black bull's robe. Austin extends his hand, remarking, You're lucky. I honestly have no magic power whatsoever, so I'm a bit jealous you can do stuff like that. Talking her as he asks, but what did you just do earlier? With the others asking as well. Yami states it's something unique to him. As he then gives Asta a look that says, you better show me how to do stuff like that, understand? as Asta understands what that look means. Afterwards, and things have calmed down, Asta goes to talk to Noel, asking if there was anyone in her life that might have died that, eh, that had similar hair to hers. She shocked from hearing this and states, someone did. It happened when I was born. Mother died giving birth. Why would you, as he smirks, looking at woman, he extends her his hand towards her and creates the spirit ball. As Noel is shocked by this, that this little ball of energy has a familiar looking face with the same cross thing on it as her hairpin. While she's shocked, Asta puts this spirit orb into her as he now has a meeting with her. He recognizes her. He states, Mom? As the woman smirks, with tears welling up in her eyes, he says, Oh, Noel, as they hug. See, Noel apologizes that it was her fault all this time, that she never wanted any of this. She never wanted to hurt anybody, including her own mother, 
She didn't want her to die just to give birth to her. As she pats her daughter's head, stating, it's fine. Honestly, I... It wasn't actually your fault. But as for whose fault it is, I can't say for now. You have to get stronger. You have to work controlling your magic. You have so much power in you. I know you can become even more so. So, please, hard. After that, Noel could see the other spirits as well, including the three around Asta, as she smirks, thanking him. As Asta smiles, stating, All right, so you, me, and Yami are now going to have to train for to be a shaman. As Noel is like, Huh? Not knowing what this is, with Yami jumping down, stating, All right, so then. Get to talking and explaining how this works. As he brings them over to the side and begins to speak to them about how exactly summons work and how they can use the souls of the dead in different ways. But Aminamaru had no magic for himself in life. So he's not sure what would happen to someone who used the soul of a person who had magic in life. After, after some little training and such, only enough for her to use a light oversoul, Noel used it on her mother as a way to put it into her black bull's robe, the representation of the first place that held people that fully accepted her. As a result, it created a black bull's robe that outlines well, the secondary outlining colors were black and gold, while the main color was silver. As the rope became extended and able to control mercury, the form in different weapons and such, he remarked, My mother had mercury magic. As he welled up with tears again, thanking Asta, with Yami training after understanding this on his own. With that, we'll end it here for this part of the What If. I do hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And before I forget, yes, Noelle did notice a little orb floating around her, and Asta did tell her that it was actually a spirit called, that she could just call Rain. Though didn't give much information about it yet, since she's not strong enough to utilize Rain yet, as Rain is a primary spirit, and she doesn't have enough training to utilize its power. With that, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hope to see you later.